Testing, testing, testing. All right. This is an experiment. Uh, every day I do CSS Battle. I, I go into cssbattle.dev uh, and I do the daily puzzle. Uh, it usually takes me a few minutes. Uh, less than 30 certainly usually it's pretty fast I don't know I try to get to 100% and I don't worry too much about uh, the precise score I have plugins that I use to super optimize and I will not show those off although those are available on github all right so let's go and let's do the battle I'm on a 131 day streak we got a two color Thing I'm a Bob. So let's do it. Um, just clobber all this stuff. Let's see. I've got my blank template, which is that. And then I set the background. And then you, there's also this view of diff, which shows you what's what you've got right and what you've got wrong. I have very little right yet. However. That's not too bad. We do. Let's see. 300 tall and margin zero. Yeah. Yeah. 40. How, how close do we get? 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. That looks about right. Kind of cool. All right, and that's the most basic. So if we submit that, what's the score we get? We could probably get something like 590 or whatever, something like that. You get, oh no, it's 499. I have 95% clear. Uh, 95% uh, the pixels match. Uh, when it's geometric like this, it's a lot easier or more straightforward, rather, to do. Uh, which I appreciate. And ooh, how am I going to do this guy? Um, I kind of like a conic gradient for this guy, but it might not be the best way to do it. Uh, you know, that's sort of the trick. And for that, I want the conic gradient to just be uh, the tippy top. I don't know if you can see my. I just want to create that. So to do that, I need to start. Uh, let's see, at 20 pixels, 50% from 80 degrees, and then we get the purple, and then we get the yellow. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, and from needs to be before the at. Have a size there or something. And just for you no, know, just for distractions, we want to. So see what I'm trying to do there. I'm trying to get just the top area. So it's too tall. It's not. It's too tall. So maybe it's 80. Mm. How about 75. Mm. Let's see, 200, 205, 210. Oh, and then that's that little gradient. So we're too tall. Oh no, two, that's correct. Uh, let's see. Oh, my preview is wrong, ha ha ha. So actually, uh, because I was scrolled slightly, I'm unfamiliar. Okay, and we don't need the from. And 50% is too far up. Uh, 
45. Okay, so that's getting closer. And we want to make this taller. So we're, uh, so we're going to do, and that should be 75%. Right from there. That's the beginning. So if I take off, take off the repeat, what do I get? Hmm, not quite, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, so that means probably what I want is to move that guy down. So let's put the no repeat back and then move the uh, vertical start downward. And that's too far. Eight, 75. So this needs to be taller. And then now our vertical position where that starts at needs to be lower. 50. Is that it? Seems to be right. And then if we, it looks like we've got a match. So that conic gradient repeats. And that's a nice, nice way to do that. So we see we do get that 100%. Uh, and what the heck, I yeah, the the my minification uh, plugins are a GitHub anyway. Uh, and so let's do the minify clunk. Uh, it doesn't do these little guys. We submit again. So right now we have 653.03. This will up the score somewhat. There's 70634. That's great. Um, probably we could, you know, do even more optimizations there by setting percentages. Oh, here's another one we can do because the background of the body is that purple. Uh, we don't want to repeat that same purple. We can use transparent, and we could use the keyword transparent. Of course, that's longer. Instead, we use uh, the four-digit code, and these numbers in here don't matter, right? You're, you're, you may be used to CSS colors being three, three digits, but if it's four digits, then the fourth is the alpha. But we'll keep it zeros just so that we don't confuse anybody or confuse ourselves when we look at this code again, and we submit. All right, that's where I'll max out today. Uh, I don't know if this was fun for you. If it was, uh, visit my website at artlook.com. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye. All right. After watching myself do that, uh, <laughs> I noticed that I left the diff on, and pure black may be good uh, for uh, me to understand the code that I've written and that it's matching. Uh, but what that's doing is like a Photoshop uh, differ differential between what I've done and what it is. And if I get pure black, that means that it's a complete match. Uh, if there are little edges, uh, then you'll see a little bit of a difference. So there's, for example, when we did that. So let's actually show you <laughs> the result of that code in the 400 by 300 space. Uh, and then I will run my final unit replacement uh, and then submit. And that is the final, 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 final. Uh, this was captured using OBS. This is the first time I used this and the first time I'm setting this up and I'm getting over cold right now so I sound like terrible and uh, listening to it back and watching this back, uh, I sounded terrible. So uh, if you've watched this far, thanks. Uh, all right, take care, bye.